Om Muhammad walks around the remains of what used to be her home. All we wanted was security, she says. The mother of five describes how Lebanese men drove by, shot at the refugee camp, threw rocks and threatened to burn the camp if the 600 refugees who lived here didn't pack their things and go away. So the refugees packed their tents, their water tanks, and what little they had and went on the road. It's not safe for us anymore, neither amongst the Sunnis nor Shias. We have nowhere to go. Thousands of Syrian refugees are on the run again, this time in Lebanon. They escaped the violence in Syria looking for safety here, but now they are being ordered to leave by their Lebanese host. All over Lebanon, there are similar scenes. What sparked the backlash against Syrian refugees here is the kidnappings of more than 25 Lebanese soldiers and police officers by Syrian fighters. The kidnappings happened in the town of Ersel after the Syrian fighters took control of the Lebanese border town for five days. The soldiers' families have started a campaign to get them released, here a sit-in in the capital. What happened in Ersel highlighted and intensified dormant hostilities towards the growing number of Syrian refugees in Lebanon, with so many Lebanese now blaming the 1.3 million Syrian refugees in their country for the increasing sectarian and security tensions. In some areas, refugees were beaten. In others, they were warned to leave within days. There are calls to close the borders. We can't tell who's who, if they are just refugees or militants hiding amongst them, like Islamic State and Jabhat al-Nusra, just like Arsul. They use them as human shields. I want them to leave. But then you feel bad for the women and children. It's not their fault. Like Hassan Talji and his seven children. I am left with no choice but to go back to Syria, despite the violence there. It is probably safer there now than here. Some Lebanese have criticized the recent violence against Syrian refugees. They have also appealed for angry Lebanese to distinguish between genuine refugees and fighters. What are we guilty with? It's not fair. Look at our children. It's not fair. A criminal is a criminal. But we have nothing to do with these criminals. We just don't. Rula Amin, Al Jazeera, Beirut.